So coming up, I'm going to have some series of battles that are probably going to make me look insane. So just be prepared. I am probably going insane. And this is including it, but there will be a random break in the insanity, but I'll still be insane. But anyways, hey guys, wow, we got a little cup match here today against Moody Pones because she was all like, herp, herp, my name is Alina and I'm going to little cup. And I was like, okay, um, sure, why not? Because stuff and reasons, so... You know, might as well. But anyways, I'm using that same Little Cup team that I always have used because I was really too lazy to make a new team. I was thinking about making one just to battle Alina and then do nothing else with, but then I was like, I'm lazy. Why would I do that? So, she's just got a bunch of standard Little Cup dudes. Well, kind of, sort I mean, Bronzor, I don't remember if it's actually standard. I know Mian Ch or Mianfu and uh, Krogunk are standard. I'm pretty sure Dino and uh, the other things aren't standard. But you know what? We'll work with it. But, uh... Threats, I really don't know, because none of it really is popping out at me. I mean, uh, Bronzer's going to be a little bit annoying, just because I don't have any, have any like good super effective moves against it, but I can handle it. Krogun can be a little bit annoying, too, because, you know, that priority she is, so I just got to play around that, right? Otherwise, the rest of it, I shouldn't have too much trouble against, so I'm not really going to worry about most of it too much. So, uh, potential leads on her end, I don't know, actually. I think it was... I don't even know what I was predicting, but I just randomly was like, hey, let's lead with fucking Taylor and see where it gets us, but, uh, yeah, I really wasn't predicting much at all, for that matter, so, whatever, we're just gonna go with it, so, she leads off with me and Fu, I got my Taylor lead, I'm pretty sure she's Scarf, because I think that's what she runs, so I figured she'll want to predict my switch out predicting something, and go for a U-turn, so I was gonna go for my own U-turn, because I know she's Scarfed and I'll get Switch Initiative, so I might as well just do that. And she goes out to the Bronzor, and I'm like, okay, what do I fucking want to do to it? Chin Chow, um, you got high special attack and you have a Thunderbolt, let's do that. But she's going to switch out to her Dino, which she cleverly named me, except not very cleverly, but you know, what, whatever. And I was like, okay, let's just Volt Switch out, I figure I can take a hit, so, uh, yeah, that actually does a lot, though. I kind of wish I went for Hydro Pump then, but... I was predicting Krogunk for some reason, but go out to my own Krogunk, speaking of Krogunk, and I'm like, okay, let's just fake out, even though she's obviously not going to stay in, I could have gone for the Dark Pulse predicting the switch, but I'm dumb, so I didn't, so that happens. So I go for Dark Pulse now, grab a flinch, which is kind of silly, as a matter of fact, well not really silly, but it's all like, oh, it's a flinch, whatever, but now she's just going to lay up Stealth Rocks, I go to Lily to get my own up, plus I figure I can take a hit or two, so I might as well just do that, and uh... You know, do some stuff. But she's gonna go for Toxic, and I'm like, oh, now my Lily kind of sucks. But now I go for HP Fire, because I was like, eh, let's hit it now. But she's gonna go back out to her Dano, and, uh, it, it doesn't take the HP Fire well. Like, it almost takes it out, but, oh well, it doesn't. So now, she's gonna go for Outrage, which is gonna miss, which is kind of funny, because it's like, wow, never see Outrage miss it. So, you know, you gotta... You gotta take it in when it happens, but it probably wouldn't matter too much just because of the fact that I do have the Violet, and Lily has decent defense, so I probably should have been able to take it, but you never know, and you never know, so probably it could have taken me out, and it probably didn't matter, but who cares, whatever, Mianfu comes in, breaks me to switch out again, so she goes for U-turn, and then goes out to Krogunk, on my energy ball, and I'm all like, uh, oh, no, and then fake out, it's all like, eh, stall, and then Poison almost takes me out, but it doesn't, so now she's just got a vacuum wave to take me out. And that is bye-bye, Lilip. So now I'm figuring I can play some prediction games with her. Going to Ghastly, kind of bluff the Scarf and go for Sub. I'm like, awesome. So now I can start going for Shadow Balls and then, uh, you know, hurt that thing. But she's actually getting out to Bronzor, which makes my job a lot easier because taking on Bronzor is really nice. Or taking down Bronzor, rather. So get to go for a couple Shadow Balls and bring it down. So that is pretty fucking nice, because now Bronzor is dead, I don't have to worry about it. Now she's gonna bring back in Krogunk, go for the Sucker Punch, I just go for the Shadow Ball, because I have nothing else to go for, there's no reason to really stall out at this point, so just gonna go for that Shadow Ball. And then, I figure she's gonna want to go for the Dark Pulse, but I'd rather be at full HP, just cause, well not full, but close to full, so that if randomly she does decide to Sucker Punch even there, uh, or even here, I'm at full, so I might as well just try and get up there, so... I can do that. So, go for Shadow Ball to take out the Krogunk, and she went for Dark, Dark Pulse, predicting me again to go for Sub. But now, she's going to go out to this, uh, Whalmer, which is, which is actually cleverly named. Very cleverly named, as a matter of fact. So, 
yeah, Gengo and a Crow Gunk, though, because it's all like, hey, I'm a Crow Gunk, I'm gonna go for them priority moves with the fake out, and then the vacuum wave, and then the trying to weaken the water spout, but she went into this thing instead, went for high jump kick, wouldn't have done much because Crow Gunk, and she just kills herself, so it's like, eh, whatever. But now she's going to go into the uh, shelter, and I'm like, let's well, vacuum wave because I forgot that it's only water type, so I should have gone for Dark Pulse for more damage. She goes for Shell Smash, and she's all like, yeah, boosting all the things. And then she goes for Ice Shard, and I'm like, oh, shit. Well, I just lost my Crow Gunk. Great. That's fucking stupid. So now I'm going to go to Pawnee Yard, and I'm going to predict her to predict my Sucker Punch and go for Ice Shard because... I, I thought she would do that, but she went for Icicle Crash, and I'm like, shit, that's going to kill me, and it actually does not do that much, because there's no stab on it, so I'm able to take her out with a Brick Break, because I was predicting the Ice Shard, but, you know, that works out, too. So now she's going to bring in the Sasha again, and I go for Sucker Punch, and I think she misplays here. No, she does not misplay here. She actually goes to the right move by going for Hydro Pump, because I thought she was going for Water Spout, but she's not stupid, so she went for... The Hydro Pump to take me out. Almost bring her down, but I'm like, eh, Chin Chow, please live. And I live with two, so that means I can take her out, because I didn't know if uh, Taylor would be able to outspeed. So, you know, now I have that security kill right there, and that'll actually be the match. So, GG, Alina. That was a little cut match. Won't really happen much again, but it's still a fun match, because battling Alina is usually fun most of the time. So, we'll just go with that. So anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna have a little lapse of insanity coming up soon, so be ready for that. It'll be weird, to say the least, I think. But uh, yeah, that'll be it for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed, etc, 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 rate, comment, sub, and later, guys.